Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm not going to do that for every reading, Libra land, but that just literally popped in my mind as soon as I started the camera. Welcome back, everyone, to Libra land 1010. Now, I already have three energy oracle cards that we're going to talk about first. Okay. To my self-made Libras. We have 30 and 31. All energy oracle cards I'm noticing are three. 30, 31, and 37. Those could be your ages. The first card out is the garden and the gate. Especially for my loner Libras, Spirit is saying just trust fall on us and keep the key to your garden gate around your neck. Don't give it away, Libras. Okay? First channeled message. You're safe where you are and what you're doing. You're spiritually supported and protected here in the garden and the gate. Spirit is trying to open the doors of abundance, windfalls, and prosperity for you, Libras. The door of value. And I'm noticing with the readings I've done today, things are very foggy, misty, unclear. The cards won't come into focus. Stay focused, Libras. Because in order for spirit to help open the biggest doors of your lives with the big red door here, you have to remain in your garden, gate, possible hermit mode energy. The hermit is at the bottom of the light sears after I've pre-shuffled. I just received a text message about, okay, anyways. Some of you may be receiving some wild messages at this time, maybe in texts, or I'm hearing through the dream state. Spirit would like you to focus on your solar chakra, which is your creative power. Your life force energy is shining very bright right now with the sun in Libra. The sun is really shining on Libras right now, and we're being asked to continue being true and showing our light to the world, but protecting ourselves from people that want to steal that light. So you have to have a balance. You have to interact with the outside world, right? We have to interact with the outside world. We have to do our duties here. We have to be of service. So the door to value will stay cracked open for us and there will be a continuous windfall for Libras. You're always supported right when you need it the most. If you think back, Libras, you're always supported even when you need it the most. You never lack. You simply transition. Because of that, people may want to be stealing your energy at this time. They see you shining. So that's why it's like, okay, stay in that balance of Introvert, extrovert. <laughs> That's what these two cards are saying. To keep that money flow. Okay? All right. Those messages there. I'm hearing pick up the gypsy cards. Okay. Ugh! Why? I just cut to the enemy card. 
Libra land. Is there still an enemy around Libras? What's going on? Tell me more. Oh my gosh, the thief card. This person wants to steal something with the baby? <sighs> oh, okay. They want to steal your creative your creativity. Many Libras have been showing them their true selves, okay? Showing your true self, vibrating from your solar chakra, shining very bright, Libras. They want to steal your creative power. Because Libras are so potent and powerful, especially for the Libras that are for the good, okay, and, on, and for the good only, for the most high. You keep, you just keep like popping out these projects and people are like, wait, what, what are you doing now? Oh, and it's working? That's lucrative? Wow, Libra. That's what these people want to steal. You have to protect your creations just as heavily as you have to protect your physical children for those Libras that have children. You have to protect your passion projects. Libra is what I just heard. Somebody that has recently crossed over. And recent can be as in the last 10 years. This person could have passed away during Virgo season. Actually, with the hermit, they could have just passed away. Um, they're here. That's what I see in this card. This is you guys mourning that loss. And this is them telling you, we shall meet again. We shall meet again. The spirit bird, the dove. Many of you may feel like lone doves. After losing this person you were so close with. You can't gain back the people. You know, those. Dove's partner for life is what I'm trying to say. Dove's partner for life. You may have felt like you lost your... Your partner, I'm hearing your road dog, Libras. They're here to say, I'm not that far away. Anything else for Libras, Libra land? The veil is so incredibly thin right now. Up until November 4th. Thought card. Whew. Someone's thinking about you, Libras. You stay on the front of many minds is what I'm hearing, actually. The thought card here. Staying on the front of many minds. People still want to know how you're doing something about your finances. Hmm. 
<laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Tell them you're working hard. You're manifesting. She's holding that green money candle. You're doing what it do. Libra. Tell them you can't give them the recipe. It's you got the secret sauce. Libra's got the secret sauce. It's a secret family recipe. <laughs> the money, just the money trail, Libra. The money trail. Something about a money trail. That's the first time I've ever said that when looking at this card. So that's a specific message for some of you out there. Something about a money trail. And money follows you wherever you go. <laughs> you can take your sweet time with it, Libra, too. You're still going to generate the income. And you can take your sweet time. Knight of Pentacles, you don't even have to get on this horse. You and the horse can graze together. <laughs> Oh, the options. But you know they're not all for you. There's snakes and ladders and shoots. Shoots and ladders, Libra. Some of these options will lead to your downfall, your demise, like a shoot, like the snake. And some of these options have ladders to help you Climb higher in your successes, in your financial prosperity. Discernment, Libras. Discernment. More pentacles. Wow. Yeah. Wow. With the seven of cups back at the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So in order of going backwards, you're going to have to use your spiritual discernment in deciding which one of these offers is best for you, meant for you. Meditation will help. She has her eyes closed and she's balancing. Keeping your money, checks and balances, Libra, checks and balances, and money trails are important right now. Um, something about your prayer is powerful. This is the first time I've ever noticed she is on a rug, and I heard prayer mat. Meditate, pray on a prayer mat, Libra, or your prayers are powerful. Wow. Eight of cups now at the bottom. That's good. You listen to my advice. You're walking away from what no longer serves you. To find that true to, Libra land. One advice card for Libra. That's too many. I see the King of Pentacles there, but can I just get one advice card for Libra? One advice card for Libra. Pop out. <laughs> this is meant for you, Libra. Oh my gosh. What did I say today? If I saw a rainbow, I would tell somebody this. Oh my God, now my ear's ringing. <gasps> Thank you, spirit. Okay, this is for, the message is for Libras. I actually had this thought before the Pisces reading and no rainbows came up in the Pisces reading. And I hear crows calling in the background. Okay, I'm going to tell you, Libra Land, the thought I had, what I would tell 
whoever I was reading for, whatever sign I was reading for, if I saw a rainbow today, I would relay this message because I thought it was just personal to me. Rainbows, I don't know if this is a Libra thing, rainbows are very personal to me since I lost the one person in the world who knew me best. We were co-parenting at the time. We'd had been together since I was 19. I'm talking about my child's father. This only comes up sometimes, but yes, I've lost my grandmother, both grandmothers whom I was close to, especially on my maternal side. And that was very painful, but losing somebody at a young age, it just, it, it digs that dagger in even deeper, okay? Yes, to lose a matriarch, to lose an ancestor, an elder is so sad. But you got to know that you meet up again once it's your time to cross. And there's no rush in that. But anyways, what I'm going to tell you, Libras, because this message is for you in this reading. The people that you've lost young, depending on your personal belief system, okay? I've studied pretty much all the religions, per your personal beliefs. I got the message last night that they're with us still and they're waiting to cross the rainbow bridge until we all are together. As a unit as a family, and I'm having chills. I hope this reading reaches the Libras it truly was meant to reach, which is the Libras that have experienced loss and you're meant for um, a lot more, okay? And you have people around you that are trying to steal from you one way or another, whether that's physically, spiritually, energy, mentally, you know what I mean? But you're protected in this garden, Libra. And you have the people that love you on the other side, ever present, I'm hearing, in your life until you all are ready to cross the rainbow bridge together. Again, is what I just heard in my mind. Specific messages. Libras, I love you, I adore you. I'm a Libra sun. I have Libra other areas of my chart. I don't believe in sharing my chart placements because that's bad Bozzy. Bozzy has to do with your birth chart and feng shui. And I'm going to leave the reading there <laughs> to my very powerful Libras, my high priestesses. I just wanted to cut the deck and here we are receiving those divine downloads. Masculine and feminine Libras, my high priests and high priestesses. This is how spirit sees you. You have an elevated consciousness and you're here to elevate others. 1911, I have been seen 11 after every hour for weeks now. 11 after, 211, 411, 711. Oh, okay, 11, 11, 11. 11 breaks down to the two. <laughs> High priestess. All right, Libras. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up so I can reach more Libras. And I appreciate you so much if you are subscribed here on Libra Land. There's so, so much more to come. Stay blessed and balanced.